extend my deepest condolences to those so terribly injured in this terrorist attack and to the many killed and the families, so many families, of the victims. We stand in absolute solidarity with the people of the United Kingdom. So many young, beautiful, innocent people living and enjoying their lives murdered by evil losers in life. I won't call them monsters because they would like that term. They would think that's a great name. I will call them from now on losers because that's what they are. They're losers. And we'll have more of them. But they're losers. Just remember that. This is what I've spent these last few days talking about during my trip overseas. Our society can have no tolerance for this continuation of bloodshed. We cannot stand a moment longer for the slaughter of innocent people. And in today's attack, it was mostly innocent children. The terrorists and extremists and those who give them aid and comfort must be driven out from our society forever. This wicked ideology must be obliterated, and I mean completely obliterated, and the innocent life must be protected. All innocent lives, life must be protected. All civilized nations must join together to protect human life and the sacred right of our citizens to live in safety and in peace. I want to offer my deep appreciation to the Palestinians and President Abbas for hosting me today. It's an honor to join you in Bethlehem, the city that is precious to people from all over the world. It's a precious city.